Uh, biker writing here. Dear anti-biker Bill, I am not an anti-biker. I am anti-staying in the road with a funeral per- procession of cars behind you. Don't you guys always yell, share the road? Anyway, I've been an urban cyclist in the People's Republic of Seattle for over 10 years and have had hundreds of harrowing encounters with cars, pedestrians, and other bikers. Yeah, I imagine the big thing, rather than getting run over, which is probably the worst, is uh, people opening their car doors after they park. Um, I've had people do that to me when I'm driving a car. Um, There are idiots and or thoughtless individuals doing everything, but most of us, or at least half of us, okay, okay, some of us are just trying our best. Dude, I saw this morning, I came down my street, and right as I'm getting to the, to the uh, you know, to be able to turn onto the busy street, I see literally 20 cyclists in a row go by. All right. And here's the deal. They all had these little flags in the back of their cars, uh, their bikes. They all had helmets on and they were dressed in regular clothes. And guess what they did? They rode on the side of the road and there was no problem getting past them. And I was thinking like, yeah, that's how that's how people used to do it. It's the new thing where you go all the way out in the road. All right. As you alluded to by saying people in regular clothes are usually good shits, your empathy is admirable as always. Oh, God. I think he set me up here. The people in Tour de, Fan- Tour de France, Tour de France, how you say it, gear, taking a lane just because they're assholes, and I abhor them too. Oh, look at this. But sometimes you have to take the lane. It's safer than riding in the door zone Next to parked cars. Okay, that's fair enough. So if there's no parked car, then I can be upset. Here in Washington, we adopted the Idaho stop last year. Yeah, I looked this up. In California, a cyclist has to come to a full stop at stop signs at red lights, which evidently none of them know that. Here in Washington, we adopted the Idaho stop last year, which puts into law that cyclists can treat stop signs as yield signs and stop lights like stop signs, uh, which means you'd have to come to a complete stop, look both ways, and if it's safe, you can go. Uh, they've been doing this in Idaho since, since the 80s, and it has proven to decrease traffic for motor vehicles and bikes alike, as well as reducing collisions and fatalities. Well, then that's good. Then I'm all for that. It all, it's also how most bikers behave anyway. Uh, furthermore, cyclists have killed exactly zero people, not including themselves, by running traffic lights. Well, dude, that's the point. That's the point. Is that you're going to run the light and then somebody's going to come the other way and then kill you. And then for the rest of their life, they have to deal with the guilt of that. So because they don't kill anybody, that they should be allowed to ride out in front of people and then get themselves killed. And then the person has to fucking live with that. I don't know. Whereas over 38,000 people die in car related crashes per year in America. So the onus is on them to be more cautious. Wow, dude, you really took a leap there. Okay. So the, I would tell you this, buddy. I am way more cautious if I'm riding, if I was to be riding a bicycle down the street, knowing that there's cars and people texting. So, uh, I don't think that riding around, maybe you're not saying this, but it sounds like you're saying that riding around, well, it's not my job to be more careful. It's those people's jobs because they could kill me. I feel like if you're the person that could get killed, you should be extra careful and not blowing through red lights and stop signs, even if it fucking, you know, reduces traffic, which is not why you guys do it. You do it because you don't want to fucking take your little dancing slipper out of the fucking hook on the, on the thing there or whatever. Um, anyway, hope this wasn't too long. Now finish your kale and watercress nut smoothie. That actually sounds yummy. After my fucking goddamn foray into fast food last night, get your pasty fat ass on a bike and go for a ride. (laughs) Um, uh, no, dude, you wouldn't, you wouldn't catch me on a fucking bicycle. Uh, There's just no fucking way. There is, I'll ride a bike, bicycle at a beach where there's like a fucking bike lane. I'll do that. But there's no fucking way I would ever be dumb enough to ride a bike down the street where the cars are, let alone dress up like I'm riding in a bike race. Who wants to die dressed like that? Was this guy in a triathlon? No, he was going to the post office. 
people sponsor that? No. These people, he's just giving, he's just, he's, it's just free advertising. Um, anyway, all right, I get it. It's, it's better for the environment if people ride bikes and all of that stuff. So I respect cyclists, but can you just, can, if there's, if there's only one lane and you're right in the middle of it, is there any way you could just fucking move over for half a second? And if somebody gives you a little peep just to let them know they're there, not give them the fucking finger. You know, can you just fucking do that? And I have even brought up when like when that sea of angry kids all decide that they're all going to ride bikes down the street and they get super aggressive and start yelling at you as you're sitting in your car like, I, I don't know what I did. <laughs> just I'm just trying to get where I'm going, you know, just like a bunch of kids who were never hugged by their parents riding by in this mob and then deliberately stopping traffic like this is a protest Against what? What? Your, your parents who didn't fucking hug you? All right, let's see what those protests are all about before I make another bigger fool of my... Bike swarms... Uh, I spelled it wrong. Bike swarms. Swarms of dragonfly. What do you write? Bike gatherings stopping traffic. Block while riding, group riding, the legal aspect. Oh, wait a second. Come on, this is a whole fucking, it's a whole new world out here. All right, blocking, well, this is what I, I've wondered about. Is this, this is probably legal. Uh, whenever taking to the road, safety is often at the air forefront of our mind. Come on, buddy. Just get to the fucking point. This is like one of these fucking... St- it's like one of these fucking... You know, you look up, you know, how to, how to make uh, cinnamon French toast. You know, cinnamon French toast. People really don't know where the origin is. I don't care where it is. It's called French toast. I'm guessing it's from France. If it isn't, I don't care. Just tell me the ingredients. Please. Um... I've never taken to the road. Safety is often at the forefront on riders' minds. Maybe even more so when riding in a group. Staying together. Dude, there's literally so much advertising. I can't even read the, the words here. Staying together on a long ride can be challenging when maneuvering through city streets and intersections. One solution motorcyclists have found is block. Oh, this is motorcycles. It's a whole other fucking can of worms. Um. I wonder what would happen if we all switched to fucking bikes. There's no way you could ever do it. I mean, people won't even put on a fucking mask for three minutes to walk into a 7-Eleven to buy some beef jerky without feeling like they're living behind the Berlin Wall and pouting and, and, and Gronk spiking a gallon of milk. I love when people do that. And then what? Am I supposed to clean that up? Is that what I'm supposed to do, you fucking baby? All, all those phony patriots. I love all those people with the American flag in their front yard and they act like they're a patriot. You just want cheap gas and you don't give a fuck. But when it comes time for you to step up and do the right thing for your countrymen, all of a sudden, you know, oh, I don't trust the government. Uh, love it or leave it. Um, anyway, it's time for California to legalize the safety stop. I'm not reading any of this shit. I'm not reading any more of this crap. Um, all right. Where the hell am I? This is what happens when I don't copy and paste my stuff here. All right. Redhead at the gym. Redhead at gym. Dear Billy Bald Fuck. Uh, today I saw the hottest guy, a ginger, at the game, and I immediately thought of you, LOL. Yeah, that's a joke. Uh, because you are one yourself. Holy shit. Look at that. Getting a compliment. Do you have any tips on approaching a redhead, the rarest of breeds? Thanks and go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, you know, we respond to hello. I would say, you know, we might have a surprised look on our face. You know, I'm just fucking with you. I mean, I, is there a way? I know you're just joking around. Um, I don't know. Why don't you just fucking go up there? Why don't you try out? I'm not going to fucking write an opening line for you. How do you approach a redhead? Uh, so, what level sunblocks do you use? Um, 
Oh, good luck with that. Good luck with you banging the hot ginger at the gym.